Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. I just wanted to share with you my latest creation. I'm really actually quite thrilled with how this turned out. Still got a lot to learn. Um, in terms of paint detail, yeah, definitely, definitely still have a lot to learn. But um, considering this is my second sort of big project that I've done with 3D printing, um, I'm actually really, really happy with how this has turned out. I did my Plo Koon lightsaber a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I've been slowly working away at Cal Kestis's over the last couple of weeks. It's taken a little bit longer just because uh, free time has been sparse. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, I feel like I got to a point where I feel like I'm happy with it. I could spend a lot more hours, <laughs> you know, really tidying this thing up and looking perfect. But for now, I'm, I'm pretty just, I'm happy with it. It's a learning experience. Um, I know some things I'll change next time, uh, which is all part of the 3D printing process. You know, it's all, you know, it's particularly early on. Um, it's been, it's been fun. And uh, yeah, learning about, just learning the way things are done and how to improve things. Um, it's, it's exciting. And I know next time, my next project is going to be better. So I'm, I'm thrilled. I, I would like to do another one of these one day, um, but I think I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out. Now I used files from Thingiverse um, for this. I cannot remember the name of the user off off by heart, but um, you know whoever created this, the files for this, did a really really nice job. So if I if I look up, I'll put a, try and put a link in the description below to to the uh, to the link. So you can go and find these files yourself. Um, and some minor tweaks myself, um, not digitally, but afterwards. So we've got the sort of broken end here. Now all those wires that are sort of jutting out there, I, they were printed um, initially, sort of out here and here. Um, but they didn't print really well. Uh, that just could could be my settings. Um, and the fact that they were part of the sculpt, like, so I, I sort of grinded them down, sanded it up, and added like real pieces of, of wire um, sticking out of that. So that's actually real metal wire, just drilling small holes and uh, poking them in before I sort of primed and painted and all that sort of stuff. So um, just the way the grip came out though, fantastic. That was really nice, nicely done in the print. And uh, yeah, I could definitely get a little bit more, a little bit more paint. There's a little bit of green poking out, which is the color of the PLA um, that I used. I do have some more coming, like green's literally the first color I'll have, um, but I do have some grays and some silvers coming. So my next lightsaber, I'll actually print it in silver or, or gray. Uh, that'll, that'll save me a lot of time. So yeah, lessons learned. And uh, you know, black parts, I'm gonna get a roll of black, so then I can paint black parts, print print the black parts black, silver parts silver, gray parts gray. And um, yeah, that'll make things so much easier when it comes to, uh, you know, painting and weathering um, and stuff like that. So no, my weathering job isn't the best. Um, tried to go for sort of a, more of a sort of battle-worn look, like, you know, this thing's sort of seen some stuff, which in essence it has, um, but I've seen a lot of the props that are people are doing uh, of, of this one are coming out really nice and clean. And uh, yeah, just the fact that this is sort of a battle damaged lightsaber, you know, it's, it's broken in half. You know, the sort of, I imagine this is sort of a bit of a, you know, leather strap sort of thing. So that's sort of the three gouges sort of taken out there, sort of worn through. I hope you can sort of see that all right. Uh, it's actually got some weight to it. It's not super heavy. Um, that sort of black insert there, you can sort of just sort of see through on one side. So I could have definitely straightened it up. I ended up having to print that piece because it slides into the silver, this sort of gray bit here. Uh, when I printed it 100% and after painting, um, yeah, it really struggled to get in there. So I had to print out another one. I printed it at 95% and that's why we're getting that little gap there. Um, whereas, you know, next time I could probably bump it to 97, 98% size and that will go well. Um, you know, little things like the igniter button there that's, you know, not totally straight. Um, 
just in essence taking a little bit extra time but uh yeah this is this is going on display at work saw in the intro card Kessel Run here where um we're all sort of making Star Wars props now which is so much fun the statues and we're all really getting into that sort of creative side and uh yeah we're, we're really trying to just improve our skills learn a lot learn as much as we can and uh yeah hopefully one day we can we can take it to the next level but for now you know we're, we're just we're in our baby steps infant stages of learning how to make cool stuff like this I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I'm really excited to put this on display. I think it came out really nicely. And I look forward to hearing what people think. So yeah, definitely keen to see what you guys think. Please drop a line in the comments below. I'm aware this isn't a uh, absolute perf perfect job. But yeah, for my second go, 3D like painting a 3D print, um, didn't spend a hell of a lot of time doing sanding and stuff like that. But I'm happy. I'm happy with it. I think it's cool. It's really nice. I'm 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 excited. So yeah, I'd love to hear what you think. Please drop a comment down below. And, uh, yeah, if you want to see a close-up of the Plo Koon one I did as well, please drop a comment. I'd uh, happy to do a little video on that one too. So yeah, this is just the next step in my sort of collecting, I guess. It's uh, taking another step and, you know, letting some of my creativity out, which is something I've, I've been wanting to do for a long time. It'd be cool to get into... Um, you know, metal machining and stuff one day as well because we want to do more than just lightsabers but this is Cal Kestis's lightsaber from Jedi Fallen Order thank you all very much for watching hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next video until then may the force be with you always